Hey, what's up guys? Betty here and welcome to my top seven best loadouts for Call of Duty Warzone Pacific for day one. I've had a bunch of early access and done a ton of weapon testing to make sure that you guys get the best setups that you can for when you land into the brand new map, Caldera. Now, if you are new around here, please do take a second just to hit that subscribe button for more Call of Duty Warzone content. And I promise you'll get better at Warzone and get a load more wins in the new map. Now, my first loadout that you're going to want to have is pretty broken. This is my ghost setup and uh, I will warn you, snake shots are back in Caldera, but the assault rifle of choice for me right now is the BAR. This has got one of the fastest time to kills in the game uh, with around a 0.6 seconds time to kill, which is insane for 250 HP. Uh, it's just because of the damage potential uh, with the 50 BMG mag. Now, the muzzle is the Mercury Silencer. It does decrease the damage range, but the damage range for the BAR is insane. Um, and there's only two damage profiles as well for the assault rifles, uh, but keeps you off radar, which is very important. I then use the CGC 27 inch barrel for that highly to be highly accurate and controllable. So it becomes a laser beam. So you can hit those shots at a distance and also uh, have that higher damage range, which counts as the Mercury Silencer. The optic of choice for me is the 3.25 times custom. Really, really clean, and also you can then switch to a uh, like a, a 1.35 times sight uh, for close range. There's also a little bit of a meta using the night vision scope, which we'll get onto in another video, but that is absolutely insane right now for Cold Era. Um, but the 3.25 is the one that I'm using. The stock, you want the Cooper SP. You then want the M19 hand stop. This gives you recoil control and accuracy at only a punishment to your hip fire accuracy, and you're not using a BAR for hip fire at all. Um, of course, most importantly, the 50 BMG 30 round mag. Yes, it is only 30 rounds, uh, but a slow fire rate, huge stopping power kind of makes up for it. And it's a fairly fast reload as well. Uh, lengthened, probably the best ammo type in Caldera right now. Um, just that extra bullet velocity in Warzone just for those long ranges makes it a bit more hit scan. So you're going to hit all those shots. Very important when you've only got a 30 round mag. Simple grip just to make those like initial shots super accurate. Hard scope so that when you've stopped firing those initial shots it's going to continue being a laser and fully loaded fully loaded is something you're going to see on a lot of assault rifles and snipers uh, because really it's the best perk too um, maybe on hand could be quite ni nice for increased equipment dexterity but definitely definitely not needed so fully loaded is the way to go um, and that's the bar setup now we've got our top brake pistols which are ridiculous Ridiculous. So they are the snake shots. You want that M1929 uh, silencer, the Wilkie W4 stub just for maximum damage range, bullet penetration, bullet velocity. Yes, you lose a bit of hip fire, but um, it's really not noticeable at the ranges you're using this. Then I just throw on a scope. You're you're using a Kimbo, so it just actually gives you a bit more accuracy, which is a which is a bit odd. I'm not going to lie, um, but remember, a lot of this these guns have been ported directly from Vanguard, and you've got the back end data there for these weapons. So putting those scopes on does help. Just maybe obscures your vision a little bit more. Perk. Akimbo, of course, very important. So you get that snake shot effect. Perk two, quick. So you run around like ninja, like ninja speed. Pine tar grip for increased hip fire accuracy and recoil control. The Russian short mag for that increased damage output. And then the M15 shot shell, which increases the damage radius as well. So you know you're going to be hit getting those shots with the hip fire. Very, very important. Does drop the damage range, but the rest of the setup helps uh, counter that. And then you use hair trigger for an increased fire rate, increased hip fire accuracy, and faster sprint to fire speed. Um, absolutely unbelievable and uh, we'll probably get nerfed so use them whilst you can next uh oh for the rest of the loadout i run eod ghost amped c4 and a stim stims have been changed in cold era and just like help you run faster so they've got more uses than just kind of like giving you increased health so if you like pop a stim you can get out of the like range of like you can pull off a flank you can kind of get escape a gunfight that you might be uh unable wouldn't survive otherwise lots more uses and stuns and flashes have been nerfed and you can't use a heartbeat my next setup, um, we have an assault rifle that everyone has been overlooking. Like in all the early playtesting, everyone was more kind of going for like the, the NZ or the Automaton and the Vogue. I don't know why, but everyone just seems to overlook it. They must not like the name or something, but it's got the fastest time to kill potential out of all the assault rifles in the game. And it's got 
practically no recoil. I'm, I'm sorry, it gets beaten by the AS-44 by 0 0.03 seconds, but that's a close range assault rifle. Um, it is an unbelievable weapon. You want the Mercury Silencer, the Krosnik 428mm 05V barrel. Um, you then want the 3.25 times. Remember, there are loads of other choices. The SVT 3 to 6 times is also a really nice optic, um, but... Choose whichever one you want, and then remember to change your reticle. Uh, then uh, after that, you've got the Krosnik S12 VPS stock. Uh, perfectionist, yes, you lose a bit of flinch resistance, but it makes this gun a laser, giving you increased recoil control. Um, definitely worth it. Fully loaded, so you've got all the ammo. Um, I then run the polymer grip just to counter that flinch with the flinch resistance. Um, and also you then get increased accuracy during and recoil during sustained fire, which is really helpful. Then you've got a 45 round uh, Russian short mag. And it's one of the great things with this gun is there are very few assault rifles with large mags that have high TTK potentials. They're normally a lot smaller. So um, 45 round is what we run on most of our assault rifles anyway with Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War weapons. It's a great choice. Lengthened for increased bullet velocity and then the M1941 hand stop for recoil control and accuracy. Uh, and then the same Perkin kind of equipment setup for that as well but i pair it with the mp40 one of the first smgs that everyone got unlocked when playing vanguard uh it is very 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 good so you've got the mercury silencer the krosnik 317 millimeter 04b barrel um one big thing to remember with the mp40 as well with this setup it is one of the fastest time to kill potentials out of all the smgs yes as a small mag but the time to kill uh makes up for it so in solos duos trios um it's going to be the go-to quads you might decide to go for something else um but the optic i use the iso 1m iron sight iron sights are the way to go for smgs it just gives you that faster ads speed then use the krosnik 33 millimeter folding stock uh brace um for initial firing recoil quick for faster movement fabric grip aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed and hip fire recoil recovery um just to make it even like super snappy eight millimeter curves 32 round mag the hollow point ammo um just to increase that limb damage i think it's worth it with the with the smg it's going to give you those faster time to kills a bit more often um you can of course go for lengthened if you think the bullet velocity is too low but hollow point is a good choice as well um i kind of torn between the two on these uh, and then the carver grip for recoil control and hip fire accuracy. The aim down sight, aim down sight punishment isn't too big of a deal um, because it's already got a really fast ADS. But that's my MP40 setup um, that I'm using on day one. Uh, then as we move on to our third loadout, we have the STG44. Now, this is slightly broken because the vital perk is broken in the same way that is in vanguard so for a chest shot you're doing like 53 damage you actually get a faster time to kill than if you're hitting headshots which is like 43 i believe um so don't know why don't know when they're fixing that hopefully soon uh, but the mercury silencer for the muzzle you then want the vdd 760 millimeter barrel for the to be highly accurate and reduce that scope sway and gun bob which is huge and as well as increased damage range 3.25 x um optic VDD 34 weighted stock just to kind of make it as stable um, as possible at distance. Vital, fully loaded, stipple grip tape for, in for the initial firing recoil. So you'll land those shots straight away and get the fast TTKs. And you've got that Russian short 45 round mag. It's very important. That 45 round mag is huge. And that is the mag as well that gives you, I think, the second fastest time to kill out of all the assault rifles at around 0 0.665 seconds on a fully plated opponent. Um, so don't underestimate make that lengthen for that bullet velocity and then the hand stop uh, for recoil control and accuracy very 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 good assault rifle and also you've probably all got it leveled up because it's been in warzone a while now so there's no excuses right it's one of the guns that people didn't need vanguard for um and it's viable day one by like a country mile the next gun i pair with that though is the ppsh submachine gun uh which i think is going to be the meta smg to be honest with you um it's got one of the fastest time to kill i'm saying it's got one of the it has the fastest time to kill this ppsh has a time to kill of 0 0.466 seconds it's incredible um and it will make you tear your hair out when you get killed by it because it's got a ridiculous bullet velocity a bit of ridiculous fire rate easy to use really really fun um, Mercury silencer, Zac 300 millimeter barrel. I then use the ISO 3P iron sight for this. Remember, fast, uh, whatever uh, gives you the fastest ADS. I then use the Zac folding um, 
uh, stock. So I get that initial shot firing, uh, initial firing recoil control, um, which cannot be underestimated. That is then countered with tight grip as well so that it goes from the initial firing to then sustained firing. Um, so it keeps the PBSH kind of like a laser beam at close range. Perk 2 quick. Then I've got stipple grip tape just to help with that initial firing even more. 7.62 Gorenko 71 round mag. That is the important thing. And in quads, 71 rounds, you can take on so many people uh, compared to like the 32 round mag uh, with the MP40. You then want lengthen for that increased bullet velocity. And then I use the Carver uh, foregrip because it's got a pretty good ADS time. And then you can also quite easily use this for hip fire as well. But best SMG in the game. Um, definitely, definitely make sure you start using that. Then on loadout four, we've got the Bren, which is the best LMG. This has got the fastest time to kill uh, out of all the LMGs. So you've got the Mercury Silencer. You've got the Queen 70, 775 millimeter Scepter barrel. Then I use the three to six times scope on this because you can't get the 3.25 times scope, sadly. Um, so that is the, the best one for me. Um, it's kind of like between the two. It's all kind of personal preference, but the SVT is really, really nice. Then you've got the Hawkinson SP20, uh, SP2B stock. Um, you then use brace for initial firing recoil, fully loaded, stipple grip, um, 50, the 50 BMG, 50 round mag. That is the most important thing. That is what gives you the fastest time to kill. There is a 20 round option as well, um, but I wouldn't really recommend that to be honest. Uh, lengthened uh, for heart fastest bullet velocity. And then you, the M1941 hand stop once again. Um, it's pretty standard builds across most of the guns once you kind of get the hang of it uh, because you want that mid to long range firing control um, so you're hitting your shots as often as possible. Then you've got the M1928 SMG. This also has one of the faster time to kills in the game but uh, has a 50 round to 100 round mag uh, so it's very very viable for Call of Duty Warzone because some of the smaller mags just, they just don't really work for me I'm gonna be honest um, but the time to kill on this is 0 0.632 seconds so not as fast as like the PPSH um, and a, a, a little bit slower than the MP40 but you get the uh, the kind of opportunity for the gun to perform well because of the larger mag size uh, which kind of counters the choice of like do you want a fast time to kill or do you want to be able to take on more opponents um you've got to make that decision for yourself but the muzzles the mercury silencer then you want the cgc 12 inch cooling barrel the large iron sights then the c um the cgcs adjustable stock for faster sprint to fire and movement speed fleet so you've got weapon swap quickness which opens up a whole host of different meta opportunities which i'll get onto in a second with your perk choice it also increases your movement speed then you've got quick so you're going to be able to get around the map really quickly stippled grip tape do you want the 50 round mag lengthened and then the smile pistol grip that works really well for me this is incredible at close range really really good um and, for, and for, most importantly fun to use but because of that perk I'm then able to not use Amped, so I can switch between my weapons quickly without needing uh, the um, without needing Amped because of that perk. So instead, you can run Combat Scout, uh, Combat Scout, and there are so many things to shoot through on this map that is really, really powerful. So uh, it gives you a bit more of a perk choice, which I don't really think we get in that game in this game too much. Then C4 and a stim. Remember, you can swap out your stim for um, a flash grenade or a smoke, depending on what you best what best suits your playstyle. To be honest, then custom loadout five is kind of like the day one loadout where you go for the STG and the MP40. So that's got that STG build that we've just seen earlier, um, paired with that MP40 build. So these these guns are both available first slot. Most people have them ranked up in Vanguard already, so you can go straight away and use these. Um, and it's kind of what people have been using in competitive calls. Duty, so it does transition into Warzone with the little changes that I've made to the build. So give those a go as well. Then on loadout six, we have a gun that is pretty, pretty broken, uh, and it is the fully automatic G43. Now, one thing to remember about this gun is it does use sniper ammo, uh, so that is kind of the balance. Is very, very fast time to kill. However. You've got to do ammo management or be buying uh, like munitions boxes to keep yourself stocked up. Or just make sure no one in your squad is using a sniper and tell them to give you all the ammo. But the muzzle, Mercury Silencer, you then want the full auto barrel. Uh, this is very, very important to the build. You then use the 3.25 times optic, the Werven skeletal stock. You then use tight grip for that accuracy and recoil during sustained fire because you're f firing it fully automatic. 
fully loaded because it is sniper ammo. You need as much ammo as you can get your hands on. Stippled grip tape for that initial firing recoil uh, and recoil recovery. 6.5 millimeter Sakura 20 round mag, uh, lengthened, and then the M1941 hand stop. Uh, really fun to use, but remember just that sniper ammo management is very important and it gives you a bit of a different play style as, as it is a marksman rifle. Then I paired that with the PPSH that I showed you guys earlier. Um, best SMG in the game, in my opinion. Um, and then the final loadout I've got is my sniper loadout. Now, I use the Car 98K with a Scout silencer, the Krosnik 560mm barrel. Um, you then have the VDD thumbhole stock just for that extra aiming stability. A lot of people were running like the short stock uh, in multiplayer, but the thumbhole is the best one for uh, uh, Caldera. You then have quick scope for that actually immediately after ADS, so you can pick off those quick shots. Fully loaded, fabric rear grip, so you've got faster ADS, sprint to fire, and hip fire. Lengthened and the smile pistol grip uh, for sprint to fire and hip fire accuracy, but really it's just for the sprint to fire speed, so you can kind of come up and get that shot off uh, nice and quickly. Then I paired this with the automator. Now I would not use that stock with it. I would use a like a slate reflector because this needs to be close to medium range to kind of partner with your sniper. Uh, and the automator is very good for that. It's got a very high fire rate and a good time to kill as well. Good at close and medium um, to long range. Um, and with the precision barrel, the headshot damage is insane. And uh, you know, you can get those headshots at close range just because of how e accurate the automator is. Mercury Sciencer, Emperor 6 20 millimeter precision, slate reflector zack skeletal stock tight grip fully loaded stippled grip tape the eight millimeter claws of rifle 50 round that is very very important the eight millimeter one is got has got the fastest time to kill in war zone with 250 hp so this is the one that you want to be going for um out of all the setups then you've got lengthened and then the m1941 hand stop um all round brilliant gun and those are the seven setups that i recommend you use for day one on Caldera.